What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel in the first video of 2023. Hope you guys had a great holiday season and a great new year and hope you're ready to get started with some absolute heat. At least I wish it was heat because today we're going to be breaking down this week's sneak releases and in all honesty as you can tell they're looking pretty pretty slow. Not a ton of going down but that's usually what happens with the first month of the new year. January is always a slow month in terms of sneak releases but still we're going to break down some of the stuff you should be expecting and possibly some shock drops headed your way or some shock restocks as well. And as always we're going to be breaking down these releases in terms of bricks or flips. Bricks mean they're really not worth the buy and don't have a ton of profit attached to them and a flip mean that it's absolutely worth the buy and an absolutely great great way to make some extra money. So without further ado let's get right into it. And as always if you guys want to take a reselling game to the next level i highly encourage you to check out my group time boy tv plus we're a discord based community that flips all sorts of stuff from shoes to ticket events to collectibles to toys to daily fantasy sports bet plays and all that good stuff as well so once you're rolling check us out on social media and then click our waitlist button right here to go ahead and get your entry and we'll select you within a couple days or so of entering but first and foremost i do want to shed some light on what dropped from the mamba mamba sita sports website if you guys didn't know these actually dropped a new year's day or no christmas day evening at like 8 p.m around christmas eve christmas day i don't know when it was but all i know is members absolutely cooked this drop it was a very very nice nice sneak release it was a shock drop as well and these retail for 308 dollars it's basically your kobe six grinches but they did come with a special box book set and you can see right now market on these is absolutely astronomical so some crazy profit margins yes i understand some people aren't fans of flipping kobe sneakers it is what it is honestly you are with it or you are without it i don't care either you want them for the toe or you want to flip and make some crazy great profit margins either side you're on it was definitely a great flip now the reason why i want to talk about this real quick is because it's very very likely that they're going to do a shock restock possibly this week or sometime soon because the fact is they changed the entire product link and they ended up taking it down so usually when that happens they're probably going to reload it under a new link under new variants to try to deter any bots from actually copping these so once again just keep an eye out on this site there really isn't much way to go about it besides having a monitor set up for it which we do have in the group and if you don't then I definitely keep an eye out on the instagram or social media hopefully to see if you can catch a pair that way another sneak release i to keep an eye out on is the kd15 on pearls the reason being i'm talking about these even though they dropped in october is that three different retailers did restock these on new year's day and in pretty big inventory chic was one of them finish shine was another and hibbit was another there as well and so throughout this week we might see some random stores just release extra shipments in store and online so definitely keep an eye on these and yes they are clearly well worth the buy and a fantastic flip considering that these only retail for like 150 bucks i mean there's absolutely great great returns on these now in terms of the rest of this week what's going down we do have these the reverse brazil is currently not loaded up on nike but they're currently loaded up on StockX right over here they're literally just called the reverse brazils very very similar to the regular brazil dunk color they did drop about two years ago in 2020 when the dunk hype just really started going hard uh these are definitely not going to be flipping anywhere near those uh those are actually flipping if i'm not mistaken on the 300 price range i could see these coming definitely down a little bit more than they are today probably around the 150 to 140 dollar price range but still a relatively decent flip once again these like loud bright dunks really don't go for crazy margins like they once used to uh but once again it's not really even a confirmed release just some random shopify retailers and random boutiques might drop them this week original release date is going to be for this tuesday the third and then on to supreme which we usually have them drop on thursday it's a very very mediocre drop uh schedule this one once again the chrome grom is canceled so it won't be dropping this season maybe delayed or completely canceled once again and then the rest of these items are expected to drop this week and the reason why i'm talking about supreme even though it's a terrible week is that if you look at the shop there is a drop schedule for this week and they have a password page up which is never done before until they close the season out the reason being is that it looks like they're testing out a brand new shopify website believe it or not they switched supreme that's such a good somewhat decent site and they ended up switching entirely to shopify it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this goes down. But also their domain change. So it's no longer SupremeNewYork.com. It's US.Supreme.com. That's the official domain now. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. It's going to be, I'm honestly kind of upset by the move. I did like Supreme's custom checkout site. It was very easy, a one-step checkout process. It was pretty friendly for manual users and bot users, I'd say, especially with the new challenges they were doing. And then moving on to later this week on Saturday, we have the new Jound Bapes the Twos releasing. If you don't remember, they did drop a colorway well, about a couple of months ago in a gray and white tone. This time we're going to see like a nice navy starlight bolt 
along with the usual white background of the Bapes does. Now, once again, this is the play of the Air Force One Low, and we'll be dropping Saturday, January 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Jown. And then Bape stores will be dropping them first come, first serve in stores as well. In terms of the resale value on these, I mean, it's very expensive shoe, around $250. Right now, the pre-market is looking very, very healthy. And if you can catch a sale anywhere between like $500 to $700, I'd take that and run with it and be happy. If you look at the last colorway, debatably a little bit better than the navy one, uh, but you still got market right now on these around 450 to 500, which is still some pretty decent margins, but nothing too crazy considering the amount of money you are paying for these. Keep in mind, if you're buying on BAPE, they have very, very high shipping rates, probably around $30, and Jown also has a probably around like a $25 shipping rate plus tax. So keep that in mind going to the drop overall, I'd say it's a pretty decent flip, but be cautious about the shipping and tax you're gonna have to pay for your state. And then on Saturday as well, we got the LeBron 7 Florida A&M University is retailing a price tag of 200 US dollars. Currently loaded up on sneakers. We really don't really see LeBron's launch too much on sneakers, more or less on the Nike app, but these will be launching there considering probably a higher tier release. And in terms of resupply on these, right now they're looking like a really, really good flip, uh, but I don't expect it to hold for too long because this is pretty much just high asks. Bids really aren't up there. But I definitely see it's probably coming down to like a $20 to $30 profit flip. And then probably once online orders come in, probably even more lower than that. And last but not least, we don't have a big men's Jordan retro release this weekend, but we do have a big grade school Jordan 4 release of the French Blues, also known as like the Bootleg Unions. These are retailing at a price tag of $150. Really, really interesting color, right? Once again, basically looks like unions just for little kids. And I kind of do like the appeal to that. Literally, I think Nike kind of went into the design with that whole mindset. And if you take a look at the resale value on these, some of them are pretty much down bad. It's looking like a brick right now. However, after the release, I could see a little bit of hype coming back into the shoe. If I'm not mistaken, these did drop already earlier. You can see there are a good amount of pairs out there and they're really not holding up too well. So for the most part, it's a brick, but maybe the day after the release Saturday, once people catch those L's, they want it for their kids. Market might rebound a little bit, but not by much to where I really consider it being a great great flip so that about rounds out this week hope you guys enjoyed wish you guys the best luck on wednesday we'll catch you guys with the main sneak releases for january 2023 i'll catch you guys then peace